Chair, I have a couple subjects. Uh, specifically right now, I just need to address the amendment contract. And the other two will call you later. Well, the amendment contract, the resolution is not going to vote on it? I'll pull out there. Uh, no, I need to make an amendment contract. Senator Troy, Joseph Lane. Uh, well, I, I'm here primarily to uh, have several questions on the energy contract um, before it's over. Can we vote on this? Can I just ask? It's going to be voted on in this meeting, though, right? Correct, sir. Uh, I, I, um, I, I think energy uh, conservation, uh, to any extent, in any respect, is certainly commendable, and certainly the city is, is in dire need of that. Um, and from what I've read in the paper, although the details seem rather sketchy, uh, the the uh, objectives of this contract, uh, the Johnson Controls is going to do, seem to be uh, well worth it. But if you do a cost-benefit analysis, and again, the details uh, were somewhat lacking in the paper. Um, uh, I, I think at this point, with, with the amount of money that uh, has, has to be bought out of it, as I see it, correct me if I'm wrong, but there has to be a, a, a bond addition floated here. Uh, which means more debt for the city. And I think at this point, um, certainly if I were a member of council, I would have serious questions about that. Robbing people to pay Paul syndrome. Uh, as I said, the objectives, any, any uh, uh, contract to, uh, to uh, achieve energy savings is certainly commendable in this day and age. I think there are other things that have to be faced, like perhaps uh, energy costs regarding buildings, you know, uh, Insulation and whatever to save energy, replacing lighting in buildings, the street lights. I suppose that's important too. I, I assume that doesn't include the street lights that were just put in down here. And that that, that wasn't answered in the paper that you just installed down there on Franklin Street, for instance. We certainly in some of the neighborhoods need lights replaced. But the point is to, to go further into debt at this point with with uh, the city's finances, uh, you know, in serious doubt. Uh, the mayor hasn't been exactly frugal in his uh, spending that until the last couple of years. In fact, in my opinion, he's been somewhat reckless with all these extravagant projects. The city council hasn't done too much to keep him in check, to keep that in check. So I would uh, certainly recommend at this point, even though, the, as I said, energy savings is a worthwhile venture, to vote against this until these questions are answered. How much, uh, how much guarantee, for instance, the Johnson Control is going to actually give? There was some point made in the paper that if the, if the savings are realized that Johnson Controls is going to step in here, uh, is that all going to be written out? Mr. Henry, is this going to be, are we going to keep them uh, to, the, to their word here? If the, if the savings are realized, if we're going to compensate the city for the, uh, for the disparity there? Uh, and also, uh, how is Johnson Controls chosen? Uh, as I, now again, I'm in the dark about this. I think the city owes it to the public here, at least in attendance. And the mayor, perhaps, to, to, uh, to isn't this supposed to be put out for bid? This sort of thing. Did they did they come to the city with this uh, idea in mind and uh, just out of the blue? And if they did, uh, why isn't some other company? Uh, why can't we possibly the city can't possibly look into some other company that might do this for less, or might do a more efficient job, or might do a more sweeping job to get more energy savings in other places? As I said. Uh, starting with buildings and replacing vehicles or whatever. Um, the other points I have in the time remaining, uh, uh, you know, the, it was mentioned also in the paper, Mr. Merritt um, echoed the, the mayor's sentiments that uh, very reluctant to raise taxes. Uh, Mr. Mr. Troy, you're going to have to say that for when we have the public discussion. What's that? The, this is specifically for uh, items that we're going to vote on. Oh, the resolution? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, we'll call you up again if that's all you have. Um, for the other items. I'm sorry. Uh, well, anyway, that's, uh, I, I forgot about that. But, uh, okay, I, I just want to say also that uh, uh, on the Johnson Control, that if it was not put out for bid, uh, that that's, that's a mark against it. And I, I, I have a serious question as to how Johnson Controls were chosen and the money being spent to achieve the cost-benefit ratio or cost-benefit analysis here, uh, um, I don't think uh, uh, works out because I think that the, uh, the costs uh, outweigh the benefits here. So that's my point on that. Okay, you finished, sir? Yeah. Uh, I know on our work session on Tuesday, Council Controls was here in, in, in their in the presentation. Um, does anybody care to comment? Uh, Mr. Troy. 
I can tell you first of all how Johnson controls was selected. Johnson controls is currently the control supplier and overseer for most of the controls you see in the city of Lewisburg. They won that by bid. Okay. Uh, we had an issue at the police headquarters. And it's been ongoing for, as Councilman George had said, since he was uh, chief of police. Well, we patched it for many years. Can't patch it anymore. We identified an issue. We had Johnson Controls come and look at it. They said it's beyond repair. They supplied us with a, with a temporary chiller, which you see out the back of the police headquarters now, which is like something like eight or nine thousand dollars a month. Uh, and they said, look, we can we can look at repairing this. Uh, how about we bring our performance contract team up here and explain to you what they can do, and maybe we can analyze some other savings opportunities for, in the city of Wilsburg. That's how they got on board. Uh, they have looked at, they've been here almost five months. They've looked at everything in the city of Wilsburg. We had a list twice as long as the one that you see that got approved. They are a global company. They are the largest performance and guarantee contractor in the nation. It's in writing. I've seen it. I've, I've looked at these numbers. Energy, they measure and they verify. Our energy savings on the lights alone is incredible. They're going to replace over 4,000 street lights in the city of Wilson. And remember one thing. Some of these lights you, you refer to in downtown, they're here like five or six years already. Technology is, gets better and better every day. They've identified a way to save money there. We're going to replace a lot of those lights. It's, it's, it's really the way to go here. It's the only way we can fund uh, the HV uh, cooling and heating system of the police headquarters, as well as the pumping station up on Weir Street. Those people in Brookside were, got flooded during the, the last flood. Their pumps are in bad shape. It's the only way we can fund that. We're also putting a solar roof on, on BPW headquarters. It's going to save 75% of the energy that we use, currently use up there. And it is guaranteed. Uh, there is a contract, and when, when it's signed, uh, you're free to look at it. But it, it explains everything in detail how we're going to approach and do this. And I think it's a great idea because we're cutting way back in energy consumption. That's money that's out that, that's gone into the wind if you don't do this. 